let us continue with the project and this entire project we have built using use state hook now we are going to convert this entire project using use reducer hook so as of now we have worked on multiple project so now you will be having little bit idea how to write use state structure so you can also take this as a challenge and pause the video and do it by yourself but still if you want more practice on use reducer then you can continue with this project so first i will just close this files all the files come to explorer i'm just going to copy this folder inside this i will give display date reducer and from this folder i will just open this display date.js file now i will come to app.js now instead of display date i will write display date reducer so from this folder i just want to access this file save it come here refresh this again everything will be working fine now i will just close instead i'm just going to open the file which is present inside display date reducer and also i'm just going to open the file where we have worked on the project using our use state hook so this is the file we are going to work which is present inside display date reducer folder now i will come to the file first i'm just going to remove all the state and from here i will be removing this import and also i do not need this function i'm just going to remove and from this input field i will remove this entire value and on change event handler and also from this input field i will be removing this value and on change event handler and here also whenever i click on this i do not want to set anything i will remove this setter function and also from here i will be removing this setter function instead better i'm just going to remove this entire on click i do not want to perform anything i will remove but i have not removed this step and count why because inside our initial state we are going to pass the same variables so that is the reason i will not be removing this step and count i will save now i will come on top first what i will do i will be creating our use reducer so to understand this project first you should work on the project which we have done earlier using our use state hook below this i will be writing use reducer that will be imported from react library inside this i will be passing reducer function and initial state now if you remember in our to do list what we did for managing the task we have created separate reducer and for our input field we have created separate reducer and here if you notice we are having two input field but for this both input field i will be creating only one initial state why because input field values are related to each other whenever i am dating my step accordingly i am just increasing my count so both are related to each other so for that i will be working on only one state now this use reducer will be returning array immediately i am just going to restructure state and dispatch that's it now i will copy this initial state here i will be creating my initial state i will write const initial state now here i am just going to pass as object what i will pass i will write step and for that step initial value we have given as 1 so here i will be passing 1 then i will be writing count and for that initial value we have given as 0 i am not creating any state instead inside this initial state i am creating object and i am passing two values so now this state will be having this complete initial state value that is nothing but object now here instead of writing state dot step what i will do i am just going to destructure my state 
I will come down here. I will write const. Now this state is nothing but object. So how we are going to restructure? We will write object and this exact same property name we are going to pass. Step count which is nothing but state. So from my state I have accessed this step and count and now I do not have to change anything. Entire thing will be working fine. So here once I restructure I do not want to update anything in my JSX. Everything will be fine. I do not have to write step dot step, state dot count, state dot count everywhere. I do not have to update. So that is the reason I have just destructured my state. Now what I will do below this, I will be creating my reducer function. And this reducer function will be taking two parameters. First will be the state and second it is going to take the action. Save it. Come here. Refresh this. Now here I am having handle set is not defined. So from this reset, I will remove this entire on click. Save it. Refresh this one. Now you can see we are not having any error. But successfully we have removed the state. Instead we are using our use state hook. Accordingly we have passed the initial state. And we have just destructured our state. So that each and every time we do not have to update our JSX. Now successfully we have completed. Now let us work on dispatch function. So first inside the step container I will be passing the value. And for this simply I am just going to pass the step which we have destructured from our state. Now you can see successfully I am having this result. If I change this to 10. Save it. Let me refresh. Now you can see this is my progress bar and accordingly my reset button is also displayed. Now I will change it to 1. Now what I will do whenever I am changing something inside this progress bar I will be calling this on change event handler. So once this event is fired what I will do I am just going to dispatch the action. So here I will write dispatch. Inside this I will be passing the action. For this I will give the type. Here I will write set step. And after that, I will be passing the payload. What payload we have to pass? So inside this on change event handler, using this setter function, we are updating this value. So same thing we are going to pass inside the payload. So here I will be writing number. And inside that, I will write e dot target dot value. Now we are using this event handler. So this entire thing I will be passing as callback function. Okay, you do not have to worry. Whenever we are updating something, this on change event handler will be fired. And inside this, we are just passing our dispatch function. And accordingly, this action has to be triggered. Now here, I will come. I will be writing switch. Inside this, I am going to pass action dot type. Here, I will be writing case. My case is nothing but set step copy here I will be pasting inside this what I want to do I just want to access my payload property and I want to update my step property this count property I do not want to change so initially I am just going to copy my entire state and inside this what I want to update I only want to update my step copy and for this what I will do I will simply write action dot payload here I will write action dot payload and this entire thing I should be returning as object why because our initial state is object so here I will write return then I am just going to open this curly braces and here I will just close this curly brace simply what I have done I have just returned object I am copying entire state and inside this step, I am only updating my step. And for this step, I just have to access action.payload, which is nothing but 
e dot target dot value. Now I'll come here. Refresh this. Initially it is one. Now you can see successfully I am able to change. On change event handler will be called. Dispatch will be triggered. Inside this whatever action we are having accordingly case will be returned. Okay, same steps you have to follow, but each and every time you have to think how you have to create the state and how you have to perform this updating logic. Then next we are going to work on this button. So here I will be writing on click. And inside this, I will be passing this callback function. I will write here dispatch. I will be writing my action type. Here I will write decrement. Okay, nothing for this decrement. I have given decrement. Now same thing I will copy. For this plus button I will be writing increment. Now when I click on this button I have to trigger this dispatch and accordingly I have to pass this action. Now I will copy this decrement. Below this case I will be writing case. Then I will be writing decrement. And again what I have to do. I have to return entire object. I will copy my entire state. Now for this I should be updating my count variable. Now for this I should be updating my count property. I should not be updating my step. So I am just going to copy my entire state. Now I am just going to update my count property. So here I will be writing count. Inside this what I will do here. I will just access this state dot count. Now here inside this function we have destructured but while accessing we should mention state dot count because this state is holding entire object and from that state I am just accessing my count. And for this based on my step value I have to increment as well as based on the step value I have to decrement. So here for decrement I will write minus then I will be writing state. From there I am just going to access my step. Now save it. Come here. Refresh this. Refresh this one. Click on this. Nothing is displayed. But you can see here based on the value I am able to display the result. If I give here 2. Now here I will be having 9 days. 11, 13. So it keeps on going. Similarly I am just going to copy. Below this I will be pasting. Instead of this decrement I will be writing increment. Again it is going to return entire object. I am just going to copy my entire state. And I will only update my count property. And here I will be writing plus. Come here increase. Now you can see again I am having the result. Now let us work on this input field. For this input field also we should be making control element and also we have to pass the value. Here initial value I am just going to pass count. Now you can see initial value is minus 11 so that is the reason value is displayed. Refresh increase this accordingly I am able to update the value. But if I try to type something nothing will be changed. Why because whenever we are updating input field on change event handler will be fired. So here I will write on change event handler. Again I will be passing the same thing. Here now instead of passing any function I will be using dispatch. Inside this I will pass type. For this I will give the type as set count. And inside this payload I am just going to pass this e dot target dot value. But before that entire thing we have to convert into number so here i will write e dot target dot value same operation what we have performed for this progress bar same thing we are passing but here we are having different type now for this we are going to create the state i will come down case here i will be passing i will write here return now for this what i have to do i just have to access my action dot payload and here while accessing action dot payload we are updating our step now for this 
again we will return object copy the same state now instead of updating state we have to update our count property and from there i will access action dot payload now i'll come here now if i try to type something successfully i will be able to type the result again refresh type something but now when i click on this reset button nothing is going to work so now i am just going to come to reset button here for this i will be writing on click is equal to i will be passing this callback function i will write here dispatch and inside this i am just going to pass the type as reset i will copy this whenever i click on this reset button what i want to do i just want to set it to initial state so below this i will be writing case then i'm just going to pass my reset what i have to return let me just write here colon return initial state and while returning initial state i do not have to wrap inside this curly braces why because our initial state is already an object so i do not have to pass inside object it is simply going to return our initial state and finally i will be writing default if nothing is there simply return my state save it come here now if i click on this you can see i am back to my initial state this progress bar is working when i click on this accordingly i am having the result as well as when i click on this my reset button is working and if i am having step as 1 and this count as 0 my reset button is not displayed but as soon as i update something my reset button will be displayed so this is the simple project once you understand the structure of use reducer you will be able to master and you will be able to create any state instead of using use state hook you can easily use use reducer and accordingly you can dispatch the action now you can see at only one central place i am updating my entire state just practice all the projects if you are having any doubts or even if you want to explain me some topics then you can comment down so that i can prepare for the tutorials and i can upload on my channel